everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I wanted to show you how to make a card using some of the Stamping Up products. So this is the card we're going to make and this is the, the feature that I want to talk about is this uh, designer series paper. It's called a specialty designer series paper because it has foiling in it. So this one is free during the second release of Celebration. Celebration is something that uh, Stampin' Up! has every year and from January through the end of March you can earn free products. If you spend $50 or $100 you can get free products. So the second release starts March, starts March 3rd and um, this is the paper that's in here and you get this if you have a $50 order. So this is called the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. And you get three sheets of each of these patterns. And this has a rose gold and a silver foil in it. And then it's on white. The other side is plain. Um, I think it's because of the foiling that they, they just have the one side. And this is just beautiful. I hope you can see it. And then it has um, this kind of grid look of just the, the rose gold. Um, and then this is the one we're using. And when I looked at it, it's just silver. When I looked at it, I thought of daisies, so I went with a daisy card. <laughs> um, and then this last one, I just love this. I'll be definitely making a card with this, all these little flowers. And there's the rose gold um, and the silver all mixed in. And it's um, a lot of the, the very beautiful flowers. So I can see coloring them in or uh, sponging them or something like that. Look for another video with uh, something that I do with this one, I, I'm sure. So let me put this aside and let's get our card out again. So this is that silver paper and see it looks kind of like a daisy. I almost put this in the center because I think it would be okay. Um, but it kind of threw off the card so I didn't go with it. I do a lot of playing before I make a decision on things. Um, so let me get the pieces out. And I did some embossing. So this is silver, the word friend, and I did actually emboss around the, the edge of it. Um, to match with the silver here. So let's do that first. And this one, I used uh, the Daisy Lane um, stamp set, and then there's a punch that goes with it, and it punches out the small daisy, and there's another punch that will punch out the large daisy. But I'm using the small one at this time. So I use the friend, and then on the inside, I put in uh, the best moments in my life happen with you. For this card on this video, I'm going to make a birthday card. I'm going to use a different stamp set. So um, I wanted to stay within the stamp set for one card. And then you could put whatever sentiment you want. And I also used a punch to uh, punch this out. You can use whatever size you want. So um, look at what you have. And if you want this, you know, you can purchase things from me. Uh, there's a shop now on my blog pspapercrafts.com and you can get all of the products that uh, I'm using today. So let's get the um, embossing going. I love embossing. This is one of my favorite things to do. So we're going to use Versamark and I'm going to use um, the Peaceful Moments. This is in the spring catalog. I'm going to do happy birthday and wishing you uh, every happiness this special day will bring. I like that. So let's get the happy birthday and I'm just going to ink it up and stamp it on a piece of early espresso and this is the Versamark though this is like a watermark ink but it's sticky so what you do is you take your um, embossing powder and I'm using silver silver is my favorite it really pops and I'm just gonna scoop it on I just keep it in a container so it's easy to scoop and I'll put a little bit more on you know what I didn't do was I didn't um, hit it with my embossing buddy. I should have done that. There's something called an embossing buddy that if you wipe it over, it kind of keeps the um, the embossing powder just where the Versamark is. Sometimes it gets stuck all over and then you've got um, your powder heated all over. But this, this turned out okay. I should have done that step. And then I'm going to take my heat tool. Um, and this, I'm going to put, this has two two uh, levels. If you're doing vellum or something like that, you would go to one, but I'm going to two, the higher one. And I'm just going to hit it with this, and you'll see that it changes. Um, 
you'll see that it, it melts it and it becomes shiny. And it just takes a little bit. So see how it's changing? I hope you can see that. It's really cool. Again, one of my favorite things to do. And I hit the back of it too, just to, sometimes it, your card gets a little warped. So it's good to hit the back of it. So we're done with that. Sorry for the noise. And then I'm going to take this punch, and I have to label my punches because I don't remember what they are, and I use them. Um, but it will be in my blog. You'll, you'll be able to see what punch I used. And I'm going to punch this over on the side so that I can cover up part of it with my daisy. So I'm just going to punch it out. And then I decided that I wanted to kind of... I don't know, make this a little bit fancier. So I put uh, the Versamark all around the edges and then I embossed the edges of it. So the way I did that was I just took it and I just dabbed it in, kind of went around to get the edges in. And you will be able to see it on this color, on the brown. You'll be able to see that it's a little bit dark and it almost looks wet. So just make sure you get it good. You can kind of lean it forward if you want just to get it. You want it to show, and you could probably put even more on than I did. I just wanted to get kind of a an edge, a gold edge around it. So just, I hope you can see that. It's kind of dark and it almost looks wet. So let's cover this up. And then I'm gonna get my embossing powder again. And I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm not going to spoon it on because I don't want to get it all over. I'm just going to put my spoon, I'll put it over here, and I'm just going to put it down like this, right in the embossing powder. Okay, so you'll see it's around the edge, and I am going to kind of flick it. It's on the back as well. And I am going to emboss the back just so that I don't have loose powder on it. And if you did have powder where you didn't want it, just take a little paintbrush. And, but you don't want to go off the edge because then you'll take it off of there. So let's do our embossing on this. Now this is hard to hold because it will get hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tweezers or whatever you have, and I'm just going to hold it and then emboss it. Okay, so I did heat up the back because I, I again, I didn't want it to be sticky and powder all over the place. So that's it. You can probably dip it in again to your Versamark and then dip it in again to the powder and, and make it bigger and thicker. But I think this is fine. Um, so we have to make our flower. Um, let me get a piece of, let's see. I have some <clears throat> scrap Whisper White paper and I'm gonna take the Daisy stamp and my Daffodil Delight ink. I'm gonna stamp two of them so that I have um, like a fuller flower. So we'll just stamp two on the bottom. One, two, and we'll close this up. And then I can take my punch and unlock it and just line this up. So you just, th this one, there's no like top and bottom. It pretty much is all even around. And I just really like to press it down a little bit without punching it just to grab it and then move it around and you want to have kind of the white evenly around everything. So we have one of those and then we'll do the second one. That looks good. Okay, so we have our flowers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I like the liquid glue. You could do whatever you want. Dot right in the middle and then I'll put the flowers together. And it just, I mean this is very nice and delicate but I think when you see the difference 
when you put them together, it just gives it a little bit of dimension and fullness, and I think it's really pretty. So we're doing good here. The next thing we want to do is get our ribbon. Well, actually, let me put this together first. This I want to put on the yellow. So let me get my liquid glue and go right around. I'm doing it very lightly. The liquid glue is pretty strong, so you don't have to add too much. And we'll just center this right on our Daffodil Delight paper. It's really windy and cold in Florida, <laughs> believe it or not. It's a windy, a blistery day, like Winnie the Pooh says, right? Um, so now I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to go up and down. Usually I go across this way and I'm making it a little bit long. I'm going to show you the ribbon tool that I have that I got from somebody's husband made it, but I know you can get them online. Um, it's pretty cool. And you just take, I'm sure many of you have seen this, you just take it and wrap it and go through the bottom and then come over the top and I like to go this way kind of go through and then you just tie it and then you have your ribbon it actually didn't come out as good. Let me just do this one more time. All right, because I actually want it to be more on one end than the other so that I can have it uh, more toward the top on the card. I didn't want it smack in the middle. So I'm going to go through it. And they have videos on how to do this. that one is better okay so now I'm going to put this up toward the top see I wanted a longer bottom so that I can have it go up higher on the card so let's put this down and what I'll do is I'll put it down with some scotch tape I'll just wrap it around the back with a piece of scotch tape you could do this in two steps if you wanted to you could you know just wrap the ribbon around and then add a bow to it but when I tried this, um, it worked the first time. I was like, wow, I have long ends. I'm just gonna stick it right on the card. And it worked out beautifully. So we'll just wrap this around, put another piece of scotch tape on it. Okay. And then let's put some adhesive on the back of this and we'll put it on our card base, which is early espresso. Coordinate everything together. Let me just put a little, little down here so we have the corners. Get this all centered nice. And then press it down and commit. Okay. So now we'll do our sentiment. I think that'll be nice. I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. See the back of it? I've got a lot of a lot of the uh, embossing powder all over the place, but that's the back, so that's okay. But that's what I was talking about with the embossing buddy. Um, sometimes the embossing powder gets stuck all over the place and when you heat it it will you know melt it wherever it is so if you use the embossing buddy it, it really keeps it only on what you've uh, used the versa mark on so let's just put this right here and then I think I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive on this one so that it pops up 
on this other one I put actually the um, piece of um, dimensional behind the center because it was over more. So let's just um, put a little bit of adhesive over here and then I'm going to put a little bit of a, um, a piece of the um, dimensional. can't think of what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm a little distracted here. I hear somebody calling me in the background. So I'm going to just put this so I have both heights, if that makes sense. Okay. So we'll have something holding it up over here, but it'll be flat on here. And then we'll use some of these, or one of these. This is the Perennial Essence Floral Centers. And these are really cool. They just peel off the back and they're fuzzy. So they look like the center of a flower. So we just take the back off of this and stick it down right in the center. And this is where I was kind of playing and thinking I could put some of these here or there. But I didn't really like it. I mean, it's okay. But it really pulls that as a flower. It looks more like the daisy. So we've got the outside done. Let's do the inside. And let me get a piece of scrap paper here because I'm going to go off the bottom. I'll use garden green. You could use whatever green you want. And this is the um, the stem from this set. So I'm going to use this stem and then this flower on the inside. And I have to tell you, this is beautiful. If you wanted to use that, that would be good on the envelope. So we use garden green. And I'm just going to kind of make it a little more straight. And this is always the trick, getting this flower, because it's not... Um, it's not a uh, see-through one. What am I thinking of? <laughs> Photopolymer. Um, I'm looking for my yellow. Here it is. So it's not photopolymer, so you can't um, see through it. So the placement is a little hard. You could use your um, stamp apparatus if you wanted to. I don't know why I can't think today. I have people talking to me in the background. And I'm hoping that they get that I'm doing a video <laughs> and leave me alone for a few minutes. So here's my flower. And then on the inside, I'll do in the, um, the brown, the early espresso, the sentiment. And then we're done. Put the card together. And we're all set. I thought it was pretty. I love this paper. I'm a designer series paper girl that's my favorite product i think in stamping up so that's that and i think this may take a second to dry so i'm just going to be very careful with it for some reason my early espresso needs a, a couple of seconds to dry so we'll just be careful with it just go right around the edge and then we've got the birthday card. Kind of reminds me, I know they're daisies. They remind me of the Black Eyed Susie's. I think that's why I went with the, the brown and the Daffodil Delight colors together to kind of bring that feel into the card. Okay, let's put this on. And we have both cards the friend and the happy birthday. I think they're really pretty. This paper is gorgeous. If you have any questions, you know, just reach out to me, patty at pspapercrafts.com. I have an online catalog there. I'll have the online catalog once, um, the online brochure once the second release of uh, Celebration goes live. So just check it out. Go, come and see me at my blog, and uh, we'll be back again with another video. Thank you. Bye.